generally concussion based on the mechanism right concussion is the brain moving inside the skull the pituitary gland which is the main kind of hormone generator of your body uh, it generates your thyroid hormones uh, your adrenal hormones your sex hormones your growth hormones all these different substances are generated from this little gland inside the brain called the pituitary gland and it hangs down from basically right between your eyes this pituitary gland hangs down and it's encased in a, in a bony uh, kind of enclosure called the cella tersica and what happens is that pituitary sits right in that so if there's shearing of the brain uh, if you can see this basically the pituitary gland is moving inside and potentially getting sheared on impact and damaged with that so what they're finding now is in patients with chronic concussion symptoms that aren't going away because hormones affect a number of different things and they include things like fatigue and, and fogginess and adrenals and all these different things that can get out of whack following concussion. The theory is that um, you know, maybe the maybe it's damaged during that. Maybe it's um, you know the recovery and the stress of recovery in patients with chronic symptoms. But anyway, they're noticing that in around you know fifteen to thirty percent of con chronic concussion patients uh, six months out will have some sort of hormone imbalance. So it's definitely something worth getting checked out. If it's been a while, you want to get a full hormone panel uh, and see and see how things are. Um, it's worth it's worth getting checked because there's there's therapies for it, right? Thank you.